<laughs> Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you awesome. doing? You're doing great. Great. So is there a difference between the Batman you've done throughout the years and this Batman? No, the challenge for me for 25 years has been to keep him consistent mm -hmm. and not let him get stale. Mm -hmm. uh, because the audience, you know, it's a funny thing about audiences, and it's something I really believe. You can hear a lie a lot faster than you can see a lie. You can tell when someone's lying by the tone of their voice. And I know the audience would know if I was faking it or if I wasn't genuinely inhabiting the character. Because for me, the voice, it's never been about putting on a husky voice. That voice came out of everything that happened to him as a child, that dark, pain of his childhood that he never was able to escape. And when you go back to that, you know, watching his parents get murdered in front of him and that, 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 that alley in Gotham was there, and that just puts you in that place, then the voice comes out of that. And if you're, if you're there emotionally when you create the voice, it's consistent. And, um, and Bruce is, is the writer and, and, and producer, is a... Um, He's a, he's a meticulous perfectionist. I've heard. <laughs> and that's what everyone loves about him. Mm -hmm. But it's also, I know, he would call me on it if it wasn't being authentic. And, and he's really been wonderful. He said, you have been so consistent. You've really just, you've consistently nailed it for 25 years. So that's a real, a real honor to have done that. So after 25 years, how much input do you have when it comes to like, you know, Maybe you disagree with the line, right? Does Bruce listen to the Have line? you ever met a writer? <laughs> <laughs> they have such egos. Everyone thinks actors are the prima donnas. Believe me, we've got nothing on writers. You say what they wrote. And if you change a word, you hear about it. I'm not kidding. Once in a blue moon, he'll say, oh, uh, what would Batman say? What would, we can't think of, you know, and, and they'll let me, you know, change is not to isn't, you know. <laughs> but that's about as far as it'll go. You get real excited, though, about it? Oh, yeah, you mean I can say isn't? <laughs> <laughs> so you're talking about consistency over the years, which I think we can all agree that pretty consistently great Batman. But the, this movie seems a little more humorous. Oh, yeah, own. yeah. So... But, I know what you're going to ask, okay. going to that humor and keeping him rooted in the character that you've known for 25 years, that was the challenge for me. And when you're playing comedy, you know, the secret to playing comedy is not playing comedy. You're the straight man. You're the always man. playing the truth of the moment. The comedy is the absurdity happening around you. The humor is your straight reaction to it, you know what I mean? If you start playing to the comedy, it's not funny anymore. So I was just a straight man through the whole thing. Um, now it's not, that being said, it's not as heavy as The Killing Joke. That's as dark as it gets. So you, you can't play that kind of drama in this movie or you'll kill the movie. You know, suddenly everyone will be crying when they should be <laughs> laughing. <laughs> um, so you're still, you know, you're playing the reality of the moment, the darkness of the character, but in a slightly lighter situation. Does that make sense? Oh, Is it like absolutely. A delivery? Like... Yeah, it would be if I was on camera. <laughs> Remember, it's not me. <laughs> but that's exactly right. It's deadpan okay. as an animated character. How do you, you won at the panel yesterday for the best Batman. And just to let you know, I did? We had the great debate panel. They voted for you out of all the Batman. Yes! <laughs> I love that panel. <laughs> How do you keep... Batman fresh for you after 25 years? It's by always going back to that moment. That's where the voice going comes from. Going to that from. alley? And yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that is, and also, see, if you go to that moment and that's where the voice comes from, then that's who Batman really is. Batman isn't when he puts on a cape and a cowl. You know what I mean? Right. The performance for me has always been Bruce Wayne. The disguise is putting on the business suit. Very true. Combing his hair and going into the office and being, you know, cool and calm. That's the performance. Just like we all have performances in life. 
we get dressed for work, we behave a different way than we do at home when we're wearing our jeans and our underwear. You know what I mean? Now, Lauren said that he has a line that he goes to to get him back into Nightwing. Do you have a line like that, or do you just get in that mindset, like you were saying, of Batman in the alley, just remembering his parents' death? I am vengeance. Mm-hmm. I am the night. I am Batman! I got him to say Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. 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 That always gets me right that in the That wasn't my intention, but thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the levity of this, this particular thing. Do you think uh, Justice League action helped you sort of prepare you oh, for this? I thing? love that show, and I'm having so much fun yeah. doing it. It's so much, about much that fun. As you want because that show is cool. Yeah. Isn't it great? Yeah, it's so, so much fun. It's yeah. so funny, but without losing the the the, um, the truthfulness mm-hmm. of the characters. I mean, Batman is still Batman, mm-hmm. but he's in these ridiculous situations with these crazy, I mean, <laughs> Booster <laughs> Gold. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> I mean, he's <laughs> crazy <laughs> characters. <laughs> so it's so funny to see this serious guy dealing with these absurd situations. Um, I, I don't. I, I can't give away things. I don't know what they've aired and what they haven't aired. But there are some, there are some situations in there that are so ridiculous, <laughs> that are so funny. They're so much fun to play. Um, uh, I love it. I'm, the most I'm, recent I've seen is the one with Batman and Booster and Gold trying to go yeah. back in time. Yeah. And of course, oh, yeah. Booster is Dietrich Bader, who's also another great Batman. But who's also a good friend of mine. Yeah, he's I love he's Dietrich. Too. He's, so, a, he's a wonderful So that's actor. one that, that that was a lot of fun too. Yeah. No, there are a lot of them. You know, I don't know, Cloris Leachman does Granny Gulch in the show. <laughs> She's hysterical. And uh, Carl Reiner is the old wizard. Yeah. I mean they're great people. So I'm hoping there'll be more and more and more of them because we had a lot of fun doing it. Do you feel at all compelled to keep up with the Batmans that are not the ones you're doing, the ones that are doing theaters and such? Are there Batmans that I don't do? <laughs> there are. Yeah. I haven't heard of one. <laughs> I once in a while I'll go to see another Batman. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I see them. What's it like for you to see such very different takes on the character? Well, you know what? I thought it was weird when Warner Brothers didn't give the franchise to one actor when they first started doing the, the films. Um... You just assumed they were going to cast a Batman and he was going to carry the whole franchise. But then when I saw them different Michael Keaton and Val Kilmer and, you know, blah, 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 Christian Bale, all the different takes, I thought, this was really smart because each character, each actor does it so differently. Um, and I love seeing all the different takes on it, you know. I think some of them get Bruce Wayne more than they get Batman and some of them get Batman more than they get Bruce Wayne. Um, I think... Um, uh, Matt Damon I mean um, Ben Affleck has probably gotten uh, the best balance of the two of all of them he's a really good Bruce Wayne and he's a really good Batman um, but no it's I, I, it's like when Mark when Mark Hamill did the Joker I thought oh my god this guy is crazy he's brilliant and I just fell in love with him and he's the best and then um uh, I saw, um, I'm blanking on his name, in the films. Heath Ledger? Heath Ledger's Batman. And I mean, my God, it was, it was a whole another kind of crazy. It wasn't better than Mark, but he was just another kind of crazy. It was great. And then Troy Baker's been doing a wonderful job with it. So it's just, I really mean it when I say I like to see different actors do the same role. It's just fun to see what people bring to it. And I don't think you can really judge one as being better than the other. They're different. Thank you. Sure. Thank you so much. Take care.